PEMF, or pulsed electromagnetic fields, have been used for their therapeutic benefits for many decades. Although electricity's potential to aid bone healing was reported as early as 1841, it was not until the mid-1950s that the subject was studied in depth. In 1979, the FDA approved non-invasive devices using pulsed electromagnetic fields designed to stimulate bone growth. In 1991, pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, now commonly referred to as PEMF therapy, was approved in the U.S. for adjunctive use in the palliative treatment of post-operative pain and edema in superficial soft tissue. This led to more discoveries of PEMF's remarkable ability to treat all manner of injuries, facilitate physical maintenance, and accelerate recovery. The design and development of high-powered PEMF devices has provided faster and increased levels of efficacy achieved through immediate increases in vasodilation, or blood flow, cellular oxygen absorption, and overall greater efficiency in cellular healing functions. Additional benefits of high-powered PEMF technology include muscle relaxation, a rapid reduction in chronic pain, and significant increases in range of motion. <laughs> Unflippin' believable. Thousands of studies which attest to the medical efficacy of PEMF in the treatment of everything from bone fractures to depression are available through the National Institute of Health's website, www.pubmed.gov. Now, the athletic performance, recovery, and injury maintenance that are characteristic of PEMF therapy have expanded beyond human use. Our breakthrough technology has been integrated into the Equipulse, which now offers all the same healing benefits to our equine friends. It can be applied to horses from every spectrum of equine competition, including racing, dressage, hunting and jumping, and western riding. What's more, this same device can be used to treat both horse and rider. We've been using the pulsed electromagnetic therapy in horses for the last two years. I think there are two general ways that the unit can be applied. One is on acute injury, and the other is to warm horses up before engaging in athletic activity. So on the injury side of things, we're using it for specifically for injuries around a joint, enthesiopathies that are associated with the tendon, ligament, or joint capsule insertion around a joint. And the other injury that's it's been very effective at managing is the sacroiliac strain in the athletic horse. In many cases, these horses have chronic pain associated with the sacroiliac joint, and it's difficult to get them to work through that pain. The pulsed electromagnetic therapy has been very, very beneficial in trying to relieve that soreness to get the horses back to work so that they rehabilitate on their own and work through that type of injury. That second use then is to try and warm horses up prior to work on a daily basis. And those horses, the unit can be used on the large muscle masses over the rump and the shoulders and the back to try and warm the horse up and get blood flow to the muscles prior to working uh, in the arena. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie Jensen. I'm from Crooked Willow Farms. Uh, Crooked Willow is probably best known for, um, we're one of the larger Holsteiner breeding facilities in the country. We also run quite an extensive rehab uh, unit in our Colorado facility. Um, I'm also an amateur rider that rides in the Grand Prix and FEI classes. So we have used the machine for almost all the applications that you can possibly use it for. We have uh, three large mastiffs that live with us. Um, mastiffs are not long-lived dogs. A um, couple of them have bad hips. One has a bad ankle. We've used the machine for them, and it's been very, very helpful for us to keep them off of um, anti-inflammatories that, of course, would affect their liver and kidney over time. Um, for the horses, we've used it in the rehab business on almost any kind of injury you can imagine. Um, we use it on stifle injuries, anything, tendon um, pulls, uh, tears, all that, muscle injury. Um, last week I sent it out for a horse that has foundered in the past. They thought he was foundering again. We put the machine on his front feet and an abscess came out of both front feet within 12 hours. 
and the horse was sound again, not foundering again, um, just had something else going on in the front feet. So um, on that aspect, I mean, we've, we probably use the machine every day on one of or more of our rehab horses. Um, as far as our performance horses, I have not injected a joint since I've had the machine, um, which is probably one of my highlight points of having it. Um, you know, injections are dangerous. They eventually, over time, um, break down the cartilage and the things that you're trying to help by injection. So not having to do them and keeping the horses as sound as we have is a huge, huge selling point for the machine. Um, we have a stallion that injured his SI joint as a young stallion in his first breeding season. Um, that injury in the past has been a real tough injury for us to keep under control with a breeding stallion in particular. They continue to re-injure that SI every time they breed. And then when you want to take them in and jump them, of course, jumping is very hard on the SI if it's injured. Um, the PEMF has been our best treatment for that area of the body. Um, this stallion, we use it pre-breeding, post-breeding, pre-performance, and post-performance. Um, he's had the best performance year of his life this past year. Um, has really changed. I had a very hard time keeping him strong behind before. His whole body has changed after the PEMF, and we're, we're extremely excited about that prospect of the machine because that has, as I said, notoriously been a very difficult area to um, improve in a horse once they injure it. And we have the Aquasizer at home that we've used with SI and injection and we get such a much better result with the PEMF that we don't even try that anymore. Um, the PEMF has saved us thousands of dollars, I would suspect, in veterinary costs because, as I said, we have not injected any joints since we've had the PEMF. Um, so if you figure that you're injecting a joint twice a year on a performance horse at a cost of $1,000 each, um, that's a couple thousand dollars per horse. So you can figure out how, by, based on how many horses you own. And that's just if you're considering um, you know, hawks and stifles. Um, there's also, of course, you can use it on their front feet. We've found that uh, if we do front feet, we usually do it for two rotations of treatment rather than one. Um, I don't know if that's because the circulation is much poorer in the foot or just the foot itself, but we find we're much more successful with it in the front feet if we do um, a 20 minute treatment rather than a 10. And we've had um, horses that have had coffin joint problems, navicular problems that we have helped tremendously with the PEMF. Um, as I said, we run a, a pretty extensive rehab business in Colorado. We have laser, we have shock machine, we have three game readies, an aquasizer, a treadmill, um, an exerciser. So we do use the PEMF in conjunction with a lot of those treatments, particularly laser and game ready. We almost always, um, if we're PEMing, uh, PEMF, a horse we almost always game ready that horse too and in some cases we can do it at the same time because um, the PEMF will fit right over the game ready so it's been uh, it's just stepped up our rehab program quite a bit and our clients are really happy and we have horses that will come in just for you know a treatment or a couple of treatments on a particular area of the body that they've struggled with so it's it's I mean, once someone uses it, particularly if it usually if a human comes in with a horse, they have an injury on their own body or a sore place on their own body. If we can get them to put the PEMF on themselves, then they almost always come back and put it on their horse because they'll come back and they'll say, "Oh my God, I'm so much better the next day. I've never, I haven't felt this good in so long." So that right there is a testimonial. Um, humans you know, can talk and tell how they felt, and. We try very, almost every client that comes in, we'll ask them, is there some place on your body that's sore? And we'll treat them first and then treat their horse and then say, call us tomorrow and let us know if the horse is better and if you're better. And we almost, I mean, it's 100% of the time. 
that they say they're better. So that that sells the machine right there. So it's a it's been a great deal for us. We, I have friends that come by after the horse show. Almost every night our barn aisle is full and people are lined up to treat either their ankle or their knee or their back or their shoulder, the typical injuries in a, in a jumper rider. So um, it's always sort of a little get together at the end of the night. And, and uh, everybody's very sad if I don't show up at the horse show with it. So it's, it's become a, a big deal to bring and make sure it's there for everyone. So we've used it for that and it's been great. Just take that off your shoulder. <laughs> Wait. Okay. This morning I was doing that and it hurt like hell. Every time I did that, it was just a crunching pain. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm a little shocked because as I had it on, I could still feel my shoulder. It felt like it was. I was like, uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna work with me. It's because this is a repetitive injury from boxing, so I, I've you know right hooks a lot, and so. There's no crunch. It usually pops every time I do it. Like from here to here. Wow. I, I, wow. <laughs> I would say it's about 80, 90% better than it was 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm a little shocked as you can tell right now. Wow. Wow. All right, so we're done. So go ahead and see how that, that feels. I know north south and you north south. Well, that Alan Lois, you know Alan? Wow. Uh, did you see Alan? Uh -huh. Lois? I don't I feel any Alan. pain before. Before I put the machine on, I was just working with my hand right now, and I this pressure point right here, it hurt. Dude, that guy took now up it's nine and it went away. Like seriously. He was out on segment two. We see him like this. He had a lot of fight, and Cole was just kneeing the hell out of Alan. Like in the first round, in the ten minute round. But he had four concussions. Feels great. Alan should never fight again. Feels good. All right, yeah. good. Thank you. Wow. I think that this is the biggest secret ever, <laughs> or the best kept secret ever as far as parkour is concerned. With all the stuff we do outside and the toll and damage we put on our bodies, this seems like a safe alternative that is, you know, not doing anything intrusive, no surgery required, no drugs or medication necessary, just a couple cycles in the chair and I already feel the results after 10 minutes. Something as I've mentioned, I've had three treatments. This is going to be my fourth treatment. Um, after the first treatment, I had terrific relief. The worst problem I had was the L4, L5 uh, bulge disc. Um, and I had my right foot falling asleep. The doctor wanted to cut on me. The doctor told me at age 53 as I am now, I will face probably three surgeries for this L4 and L5. At this point, my right foot's not falling asleep like it used to. It's not flip-flopping like it used to. And surgery is out of the question. I will not even think about it. Uh, this is something that definitely will keep you in the game.